A look at the weather for the central region now, right across the northwest, increasing cloud with rain, sleet and snow. If that's not enough for you, the wind's moderate to fresh southerly, temperatures minus one to one Celsius. That's your weather, dinky do. Scotty McLew's Late Night Phone. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. Welcome back to the second hour of Scotty McClue's Late Night Megaphone In. We're live at Radio, of course. That's the big one. The time's coming up to three minutes past 11 o'clock. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, two things. If you've just joined us, then you're late. We start at 10 o'clock sharp. Please try and uh, live on the right planet. And, uh, of course, uh, if you're going for the 11 o'clock bus, you've probably missed it. But it might be delayed with the weather. Who knows? Uh, just before the news, we were talking to uh, one of the nation's greats, Jimmy from Toxteth. I'll just check on his condition. Are you still there? <laughs> 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 I've got a big head, I don't I shouldn't have left you out in the cold, though. <laughs> no, leave it out here in the small I could, box. I couldn't risk you standing inside during the news. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's in this phone box. I couldn't allow you in case you, you in case you bopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in between the news? You might have bopped in between an important story. <laughs> yeah. I never heard the news anyway. Did you not? No. Oh, hang on, I'll read it for you again. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No. Are you alright? Well, I'll just do you, I'll do you the, the first two or three stories and the last one. No. No? I'll oh. tell you that joke about the parliament of three years. And oh, that... yes. That's why I brought you back, wasn't it? Because we hadn't finished the joke. You crashed the news. Yeah. You actually got me in trouble with the managing. <laughs> the managing director's been the phone. He says, you crashed the news. I said, I didn't crash the flaming news. It was Jimmy from Talkster. <laughs> I says, yeah. why, why don't you phone up him and give him an earful? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Instead of bothering me. Don't worry, Scotty. He won't beg you fill his boots. Uh, it's no problem at all. Yeah. He's, he's he, you know, he's, he's, he's probably in Tenerife anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what about um, Barbados or something, yeah? Barbados. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or Barbrookie. <laughs> Barbrookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or Barbecue. <laughs> Barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that you, you, okay. sh- you should have come round me house on Sunday, Jim. Why, what did you know? Well, we were roasting the whole of an ox. Oh, I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> and <that's>... no. <laughs> You're going to get thrown up the air, where are you going, then? <laughs> calm down. You have to calm down. Yeah. I don't I want any more that. of them jokes. <laughs> I'll tell you that joke. Yeah. There's a bloke in the barbers in front of me. Yes. He only had three hairs on his head. Right. He said, how do you want it, the barber said. Yeah. He said, one to the left, one to the right, and one down the middle. Right. Each one came out, said, how do you want it now, sir? He said, one to the left and one to the right. Yeah. He said, sorry, sir, another one's come out, how do you want it? He said, roughly. <laughs> you only had one there, that was <laughs> it. <laughs> what are you like? <laughs> Terrible. Now, here's one for you, Jim. Go on. This fella goes into, uh, he goes into a restaurant, right? Yeah. In Liverpool. Yeah. He says, hey, you come here, you're giving me some good service. And the guy says, hey, okay, okay, yeah. okay, I'm giving you it, I'm giving you it. He says, hey, I want a steak, don't I want it done too much, yeah. I don't want it done too little. He says, I want the steak in the groove. <laughs> he says, okay, okay, in the groove, yeah. And he says, um, right, he says, I, I want the cheaps, not too well done, not too crisp, not too soft, yeah. just in the groove. <laughs> yeah. He says, and the vegetable, no too boiled, no too crisp, in the groove. He says, yeah. okay, in the groove, right. So he goes into the kitchen. He says to the chef, he says, hey, I've got a lad out there. He wants he wants a steak, not too well done, not too rare done, uh, just in the groove. And uh, he wants his chips, not too well done, not too rare done, just in the groove. And uh, his vegetables, not too crisp, not too soft, just in the groove. And the chef's all right, scouse lad. He says, hey, tell him to come in here and kiss my... <laughs> I says, not on the left cheek, not the right cheek, <laughs> just into the groove. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's all right, isn't it? That's a good one, yeah. I can't really tell that on the radio, but it's okay. It's only you and me listening. That's 15 million. Is there? Yeah. Oh, God, I'll have to go. <laughs> I'll get sacked. Dinky do. Dinky do. Hey, God bless, Jim. Hey, thank you, Scotty. Ta-da, la. Hey, look forward to it. Respect and dinky do to you, Much Scotty, respect. and everyone else in the nation. And all that to you, Jim. T- see you now, la. See you, Scotty. Ta-da, la. There goes my Uncle Jim from Toxteth. And, um, right, give us a call as soon as you possibly can.